Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Still on uh, A-level mathematics, working with uh, derivatives. Uh, in this case, we have a question that we are going to consider from uh, our simplification uh, that we referred to in our previous section, that is the introduction of uh, derivatives, the algebraic part. So in this case, we are given that y is equivalent to 3x squared plus 4x. Prove that x squared, the second derivative of y with respect to x minus 2x divided x plus 2y is equal to is equal to zero. If we are to check in this case, we are given the second derivative, the first derivative, and the y, which is the normal term, the, the original term that we are given, the, the original expression that we are given before. Okay, so let's take this expression and find these derivatives are uh, separately in this case. All right. Remember, I said if you are given y is equivalent to ax to the exponent of n, the derivative of y with respect to x can be written as a n x to the exponent of n minus 1, or you can drop the exponent, subtract a 1. So that is the major part that you're going to use. And also, I referred to the derivative of a linear expression where we are given ax, and I said the derivative of such linear terms gives us a one, sorry, uh, an A in this case, which is this part that is affecting X. And also it is important for you to note that if Y is equal to a constant, which is A, the derivative of uh, a constant gives us a zero with respect to uh, to X, that, will, that is going to give us a zero. So this is the, uh, the most uh, important part that you are going to use in your simplification in this case. All right, so let's start with this part that you're given. So I'm just going to use this part here, especially these uh, derivatives so that you can understand much better. So remember, we are given y is equal to three x squared uh, plus four x. So we need the first derivative as we saw on this part, there is a need for finding the first derivative, which is dy dx. So we are going to find the first derivative with respect to x. All right, so the derivative of y with respect to x, what are we going to obtain? Here we are going to use this concept, ax to the exponent of n, we drop our two. So that's two times three, which is six x. If we subtract one, this is going to remain as a one. So that's six x. Four x is same as ax, which is a linear expression, which gives us a, which is a four. So the constant term, uh, the number that is affecting x, that is your 4. So this is uh, the first derivative. So from y, we are going to determine dy dx. We move on to the second derivative. So the second derivative with respect to x is going to give us what? 6x, which is same as ax, a linear expression that gives us what? A, so our constant in this case, or that is affecting x is 6. So we're going to have 6 plus the derivative of four, four, it's a constant just like A. So you say the derivative of a constant gives us a zero. So this is going to be six plus a zero, which is same as what, six. So we have the, uh, the value or, or the expression for Y, the first derivative, the second derivative. And the question, what was the question? From this part that we are given, the question is asking us to prove that x squared when multiplied to the second derivative with respect to x minus 2x dy dx in this case uh, is supposed to give us a zero and added to 2y. Yes. So what can we do? We are just going to substitute. We have these terms or expressions representing whatever part that you're given in this case. So let's substitute and see what you're going to have in this case. This is going to be x squared into the, uh, the second derivative of y with respect to x, which is this part, the second derivative of y with respect to x, which is six. So we are going to multiply by six. Negative two x times the derivative of y with respect to x. This is the derivative of y with respect to x, which is going to give us six x uh, plus four. So take note, we have the derivative Okay, plus two into y in this case. This is the expression for y, which is going to give us three x squared 
plus 4x. So let's see what we are going to obtain from this. Are we going to obtain a zero in this case? All right, so let's see what you're going to have uh, from this simplification. This one and this one, uh, if multiply together x squared by six, which is six x squared, negative two x by six x, remember expand that uh, by negative two x, which is negative 12 x squared, negative two x and four, this is negative eight x. Uh, two is going to multiply three x squared, which is positive six x squared, and also two versus uh, four, which is plus eight x in this case. So we can collect our like terms in this case, uh, that is a uh, positive six x squared. Okay, let's take it this way. Positive six x squared, positive six x squared. So this is going to be 12 x squared minus six x squared. So we've got 12 x squared minus 12 x squared like this. Okay, minus 8x minus 8x cancels, this one cancels, so this one is going to give us a zero, which is direct, uh, the one that we have on the right-hand side, so which is what? Which is true, so this is actually uh, true, so which is true. So from the simplification, we saw that truly the this part that we are given gives us a zero from the y, first derivative and the derivative of uh, the second derivative sorry with respect to with the respect to x in this case so this is the most important part that you're given and uh, the stages that you're supposed to apply that is uh knowing or having a knowledge of uh this part here the derivative part the introduction part uh the linear expression the constant, the derivative of a constant, how do you differentiate a constant? What is the answer to that? And this, once you know this simplification, you can determine your derivatives, substitute those derivatives into the question, then prove is it going to give you exactly what you are given uh, according to that question. So these are the typical questions. So uh, the good part is that the answer, you have it. So once you obtain the wrong answer, or if you can't prove it, then you have to redo that question until you get the exact uh, solution that you're given on that particular question. That is for now uh, from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.